What's up guys and gals and welcome back to a little bit of time spent with Splattercat getting to know who I am and hanging out for a little while doing stuff here on the interwebs. Now if you've been around the channel for a while you'll probably know that I spend a ton of time referencing things that I've either seen on the internet or on reddit or on somewhere else and I pretty frequently get people who ask Splattercat what is your favorite reddit places? Well, so in the interest of letting you know how I spend my free time outside of producing content for all of you fine folks here on the interwebs, here's some dope shiggity schwa ass sites that you can kill some time on. Seriously though, don't break these open at work. You will get nothing done. Slash R, the cat dimension. Uh, we're going to start off with the ever popular cat as a focal point of this adventure, just to get your whistle properly wetted for the experience that's unfolding in front of you. Oh my. Uh, cat Dimension explores like GIFs and images which depict cats mysteriously disappearing into the cat dimension after attempting or succeeding at various verbs. Travel with them. Fly for great kitty justice through the cat dimension. A slash R, birds with arms. This is by far one of my favorites. Uh, gathered here to complete their most sacred of tasks, the photo scribes of the Imperium toil tirelessly to provide the internet with a never-ending ebb and flow of birds with human arms photoshopped onto them. Like a lot of things on Reddit, it sounds really fucking stupid until you actually see it in motion. But trust me, there's nothing more satisfying both mentally and phallically than birds with arms photoshopped onto them. Trust me, try it. Go ahead, I promise you'll enjoy it. Just this once. Just a taste. Slash R. People fucking dying. A truly savage and depraved subreddit where only the bravest will dare to tread. Bare-chested and bellowing in the lightning, they look upon the horrid display of people fucking dying. So, get that eye bleach ready and your ceremonial gag guards because some things can't be unseen. I warned you. Don't go here. It's bad. It's real, real bad. It might destroy you forever. I doubt you can handle it, and I really don't want to be responsible for your lost sanity. So maybe just, like, skip this one. Slash R. No! One part thundering rebuttal of the modern capitalist establishment, two parts howling war cry against the powers that be. Slash R no is the site that we all aspire to create. Like, if we all made a website, I would assume that we would want it to be as successful and as awesome as reddit.com slash R no. It has no time for frills or fancy scripting. It has a job to do, goddammit. It's not going to waste any time becoming the great bastion of advancement that we all desire and need right now in this harsh and horrible world. Slash R today I bullshitted. Exactly what it says on the tin, actually. This is a place for liars, scum, and villains of the internet to come together and answer people's questions about science, nature, life, and humanity completely and totally fucking wrong. That's the entire point of this subreddit. We do it on purpose. Why do we do it on purpose? Because like Luther said... No reason. I just like doing things like that. But seriously though, this one is hilarious because it's mostly just people going to stuff like Explain Like I'm Five and just coming up with the most ridiculous answers they can. Uh, to add on to that, Slash R, Explain Like I'm Calvin, is actually a place that's very, very similar to Slash R Today I Bullshitted, except that it's a place for people to gather and take on the hallowed role of Calvin's dad from the esteemed Calvin and Hobbes comic strip by Bill Watterson. Questions are asked, and with all the loving care of a father lying to his child in order to stave off the boredom of his middle class life, the query is answered. Slash R, Cat Slaps. Back to cats. God, we've been on we've been talking about cool stuff on the internet, and it's been like five sites since we talked about cats. This is a subreddit that's purely dedicated to the proper disciplinary methods to be employed upside the heads of humans, dogs, and all other jive ass turkeys who fail to respect the smoothed out flattened game that all cats exude naturally from their orifices. Respect the boss or catch them claw, suckers. A slash R no 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 no. Aw. I'll spell that one out for you down below in the description, because that one's a little bit more complicated, but this one is basically an eye bleach site. It's a group of situations that really, really, really seem like they're going to go wrong in GIF form, but then they resolve in adorable-ass ways. So it's a really, really great wind-down viewing if you've had a rough night being angry, getting stuck in traffic, debating politics, or indulging in your daily dose of late-night stabity porn, just in case that's what you're into. Slash R, Goat Parkour! Goats get down and dance between locations while managing to be cute as shit. This is another gift collection sub where you get to cheer for Chivos. Uh, treat this one like I bleach and remember, if you ever think that your life is weird, my mom had a pet goat named Gaylord, so you can't even make this shit up. I don't even know what to say from here. On to the next sub. Slash our cat pranks. Uh, is your cat a dick like mine? Does he wake you up every single night just making noise and knocking over your shit while chasing nothing around the house? There's nothing there. What are you chasing? Perhaps your cat throws up hairballs 40 to 50 times a day. Always on the carpet, even though there's like hard flooring three feet away. Maybe your cat just looks you right in your eyeball while it presses out a push poop. But regardless of your cat's ultimate sin, 
slash our cat pranks is a sub where you can watch people play intricate pranks on their cats. And actually, it's weirdly therapeutic if your cat is an asshole. So give that one a good look. Uh, there are tons of reddits that I go to. I appreciate you guys stopping on by for this video log. This was enabled by the Patreon supporters. It gives me the time to sit around and click the random sub button on Reddit for like hours at a time to come up with things like this. I, I really, really appreciate your support. I hope you found this. I hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of all those random subreddits. Those are places that I spend a ton of time and they've been helpful. I hope you'll like them as well. A lot of them are hilarious. Some of them are like eye bleach or whatever, but still, some of my favorites right there that I figured I'd collate for you since I'm always talking about how much time I spend on Reddit. All right, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. This has never been, this has been another Splatter Chats. My favorite subreddit. Bye-bye, everybody. Sure, seriously, the video's over. Video's over, you can leave now. It, it's fine. It's fine, just lock the door behind you and get the, get the light switch, yeah?